welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the welterweight bout on the contender series between Yusaku Kinoshita versus Jose Henrique. So Yusaku Kunoshida, or Yusaku Kinoshida versus Jose Henrique, welterweight division, contender series. How I see this one? I'm going average confidence. Kinoshida. And again, on these fights, I'm not super impressed. I don't know why everybody like, oh my gosh, this is the guy. He most likely gonna win, but I am not impressed. I feel like he kind of still kind of fall in a little bit of the one dimensional part, 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 part uh, department. Only 22 years old. Both of these guys are pretty young, as far as both of them. So it's not like, oh, this guy is the young guy. This is the old guy. They're both pretty young. Both got a lot of talent, to be honest. Well, I'm not gonna say a lot of talent. I really feel that in my all my honesty right now, I feel like the actuality, um, Jose Henrique has the higher ceiling. I feel like Kino Shida probably gonna be just the next Takashi Sato. I mean, Takashi Sato is still the Takashi Sato, but I just feel like I don't see no great props. I don't see no, oh my God, look at his grappling. Even this fight where he got that knockout, it was, it was overturned to him get, grabbing rope and stomping on the guy's head or whatever cage, or grabbing the cage. What is the fence? Or, I seen the fight. It would definitely be like, it was cage. I didn't cage, but yeah, grabbing the fence to stomp on the dude, which was like, he knocked him down already. He was pretty much already done deal, but apparently doing that is illegal and DQ worthy, even though it was like, dude's already out, but um, yeah. Anywho, yeah, I'm not really super impressed by him. I, I feel like I don't see him like he don't see the range as well. Take, but anyway, like he's 22 years old. It takes some time. Like obviously he's gonna get better, and I feel like he, you know, 22 years old, he could definitely pass the Kaiser. Like it's not like the Kaiser Sato did anything all that impressive in the UFC. He didn't. He got like one win over a guy that was like 40 years old. Outside of that, he's been taking L after L after L. So he can definitely do better than that, get like a two wins in the UFC. 22 years old. Can he pick up more than one win in the UFC? He could he could do that. But um anyway, what I'm saying I'm just not super impressed. Not really saying this multi-threat, like oh, this guy's a uh, super great wrestler, super great Jadoka. He could throw you down and tap you out, and then he got crispy hands on the other side as well, or he got karate background, he's knocking people out with karate, he's like he's not that multi-threat. And even as a singular threat, he's not no super amazing threat. He got decent enough power, but you know, for okay competition. Whereas on our side, Jose Enrique, we can't really quantify his competition. Like, the guys are really very much unknown. But again, he only got five fights. He's young into his career. So, you know, shoot it for his, for his um, pace. For, you know, seemingly the better competition. But we never know. You can't really rate competition because you got to look at it. I feel like it might ask me to be the case that Enrique's competition in a couple years, you know, will grow. I don't think the people that, um, what's the name? Kino Shida for are going to get any better. Like, they're, they are who they are. They, those people go on. Just drift off into the unknown. Probably the same thing for Enrique. It's probably outside of maybe like one or two fighters, or maybe one fighter out of those five will turn to somebody. For the most part, you know, see the people are who they have been already. But yeah, I'm, this this has turned to a long pick as well. But um, yeah, I like um reason why I'm leaning to um Yusaku Kinoshita is just really based off the topology, the record. <laughs> like I said, that's why the average confidence. Like I look at his fighting style. In reality. It's a very open fight. It's a very open fight. But when it's like really not that much tape on the other guy out there, I can see, you know, kind of generate where his skill set's going to be. Oh, he's Nobu and Yao. Like the guy's probably likely going to have some pretty decent jujitsu. Nobody, Nobu and Yao has trash jujitsu for the most part. It might be like one or two people. One or two people. For the most part, nobody knows when Yao is a trash grappler. For the most part. And he's long. He's like 6'5". Young guy as well. He seems like he's more of a blender type fighter. He's not a guy that's that big one punch, but he'll like kind of stalk you a little bit. Hit you with combinations, so definitely going with a guy like Kino Shida, who seemingly only gets fights out of there pretty quickly. He never really been the distance. And then with his length, it's not like Kino Shida is the best at finding range or the best right. Kino Shida is nothing amazing. I will say this right now on record. Quote me on this. Kino Shida is nobody amazing, nobody to crazy invested right now. He's not that, and I don't feel like he'll ever be that. But matter of fact, I don't even say that. Take that last part out. But he's no, as of right now, he's nothing amazing. He's nothing special as of right now. He's flat out nothing special. You can bet your, your bottom dollar on that. He's nothing special right now. And so I feel like he gets a stint him out of first round, like already kind of like got that nothing special about him. But as soon as it, like, but where he is dangerous is once he does get his range or we close that distance, then he can throw some combinations or touch up some power, and then he can push you out. But outside of that, take a little bit of time to find the range, probably a good two, three minutes to find the range. It's on the inside, but also has not really fought nobody all that great to say, oh, this and that. So 22 years old, still got a lot of work to do. So. He fighter, I feel if um, Enrique can extend him some, could have you know 
sitting past that first round, make him work some in both the first, second round, then maybe be able to take him out in the third round or maybe be able to edge him in the third round. It's definitely on the table. To stop him late or stop him out of his rally or st- well, stop him out of his early charge or just extend him and take advantage of a tire guy and just outwork him, out strike him to a decision. So it's all on the table. But again, if it was more so like um, Henrique had a more established record and more tape on him and for me to lean behind, that would definitely be an option. In fact, I was leaning to Henrique at first, but you can't change. You can't be two picks. My one pick is going to be um, Yusaku Kinoshita. I mean, you could bet two picks in a way. You could do like, well, um, this guy's only going to win this way. This guy's so yeah, that two play. But yeah, that's besides the point. But anywho, yeah, like just really why I'm leaning to Kinoshita is the more established record, more tape on him. Seemingly more experienced, two young guys lean to the more experienced guy, and yeah. But what I think is gonna be, I feel it's gonna be a, a close decision type fight. Like I said, I feel like what they gonna come on late. Kinoshita probably going, you know, he gonna get those rounds he hasn't got yet. He gonna go out there probably look, struggle to find a rain a little bit early, but then he gonna start to touch some power and start to press a little bit. Then second round, probably be close. Then he start might try to use that physicality, that strength on him, try to control him in his cage and. Yeah, just be one of those fights where early on, he just tries to to maintain that early set, or at least hold on. It's going to be like a hold on type fight. Like early on, you're going to have that power. He's going to be that aggressor. And then the second round, kind of be like just trying to like maintain that round, just trying to win that round. Third round, just trying to make it through and survive off or hold off what he did in the first two rounds. But very competitive fight. And definitely not no walkover, definitely not no lock at all. But in this one, I got Yusaku Kinoshita. Let me say that again. Yusaku Kinoshita via decision.